Hi everyone, this is Braxton with Kirsting with MLC CAD Systems. And today we're gonna to be checking out what's new in SolidWorks Visualize 2024. Right off the bat, one of the major changes is a new file format type for our appearance data. This new DSPBR, Enterprise PBR shading model, is designed with industry standards in mind to become a universal format for communicating appearance data across products. With that being said, the Cloud Appearance Library has been updated with this new format. Simply download, drag and drop onto your model and you'll find that same Enterprise PBR shading model available. Based on the subtype, it will filter down our base uh, texture mapping. However, if we select the Enterprise PBR shading model, we can have access to all of these and really allows us to create our own custom complex appearances. Now, sometimes complex means difficult to use, and that's not really the case. At the end of the day, our appearances are typically made up of some image um, files to map. And so if you have those images handy in, say, your file explorer, you can even drag and drop those directly onto our model. With a single image selected, we can choose which texture base to apply that to. Or if more than one selected, Visualize will automatically read the file naming convention and apply the, the image to the appropriate mapping. Of course, if you need to change it or you wanna manually add it through the property manager, we can still use that plus icon to select an image. And lastly, with our appearance texture tint, we now have an improved tool to make updating this tent a bit easier. Now, once you have your appearances correct, maybe you're working on an animation and that involves some sort of translation or manipulation of our model data. In 2024, you're gonna find that the manipulator tool has been improved to now include the scale, translation, and rotation tools all in one command. So when we enable that, you'll now see the triad has all those options available and it does highlight which one you're about to choose by mousing over it. In addition to the new manipulator tool appearance, it also has relevant hotkeys associated to it where G, R, and E correlate to translate, rotate, and scale, respectively. So if I wanna translate these bolts out in the Z axis, I'd select all of them, press G for translate, and then Z for the Z axis translation. Select G, X for the X axis. Pressing shift in an axis key will actually turn an axis off, and in this, in uh, some cases, we can use that to translate around a plane. So G shift Z will allow me to move it in that Y X plane. And once our animation's all done, our lighting's looking good, we have our appearances applied, we're ready for an output, we'll find that the output wizard has also been redesigned in 2024, making it a bit more streamlined. In this case, we have new options for our interactive view. We can now utilize the animation or the timeline to create our interactive outputs. Simply so select the animation, Choose the amount of time on your timeline you want to use, and then go ahead and push out the output. 